first video, I just got a brand new camera from my boyfriend for my birthday and I'm super excited. So I'm trying to test it out, see how it works. And I thought I would do a January favorites for you. It's my birthday today, which I'm super excited about. Um, and I figured I got a lot of cool stuff in January because I kind of like pre-shopped for my birthday. Whoops. Um, so I wanted to show some of my favorites with you guys. So let's get started. So my first favorite for January is a lip product. It is from Maybelline. And I, it is the Maybelline Color Whisper. Um, I love the color. Uh, it looks like that. It's really soft. It's really creamy. Um, it's got a really nice sheen to it. I got it in the color Lust for Blush. Um, it's just a really, really pretty color. I haven't tried any of the other ones, of the other colors yet, um, but I'm going to. But I do love this one. If you're in the market for a really good uh, kind of like, I don't know what you'd call this, blushy, mauve color, um, I think this is perfect. So I like that a lot. My next favorite is actually a night cream, and I have tried so many different types of night creams and just creams in general. Um, and it's always really hard for me to find one that I like because I have really acne prone, oily skin and so I don't like to slap on like really thick products on my face. I tend to use like acne products um, when I wash my face. So when I went to Sephora and picked this up it was really just kind of a splurge. I didn't know anything about it. Um, it is the Night Cream in Shining Armor from Soap and & Glory, and it looks like this. I thought the packaging was really cute. I'm not going to lie, that's half the reason that I bought it. Um, and then it just is a cream. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I don't know what's in this. It's just amazing. I think it has AHAs maybe in it. I don't remember. Don't take my word for that. I don't have the box anymore, so I don't remember. But, um... I love this stuff. I put it on after I wash my face and it seriously feels like you had a facial when you wake up in the morning. A lot of times when I put on really, really thick, creamy uh, products like this, um, my skin can kind of feel a little bit bumpy in the morning and it just feels really oily and it kind of feels almost like the product just sits on top of the skin. Um, but with this, I don't feel like that at all. It really sinks in nicely and... Um, yeah, it doesn't feel oily. My next favorite isn't anything too exciting. Um, it's just some makeup remover wipes. Uh, for the longest time, I've been using um, a Neutrogena, just like their makeup remover wipes. And I don't know what they've done, but they like changed the formula. And like my eyes were burning on fire, and I just couldn't deal with the fragrance anymore. So I had heard people talking about um, the Simple products. So I decided to give it a go because they have... Um, no alcohol, no oil, no artificial perfumes or dyes, and they're just, just simple. Um, and these are great. They do the job. They take off my makeup, they, just, they don't leave it feeling red or dry, they don't sting. Um, I just got back from New York and these were great to have on the airplane. And I'm really lazy when it comes to taking off my makeup, so these are really great. Uh, especially for getting like mascara and whatnot. So really, really like these. This product is something that I picked up in New York. I had heard a little bit about it on YouTube, but I was really skeptical. Um, and it is the original Beauty Blender. The packaging looks like this. It's kind of a glare, so I'm sorry about that. Um, to me, it just looks like a sponge. I really didn't understand like what is so cool about this. It, it you know you can like find these at the drugstore, um, and so I didn't understand what the hype about this specific one was. And the only reason I bought it is because I was in New York and I was like, okay, I have extra you know some playing money, and I saw this and I hadn't seen it in LA yet, so I decided to just pick it up. And it's got the really cute little editor's award of excellence from the Lore magazine that you can see on there. So I figured, okay, it can't be too bad. So basically what you do is you soak this with water and it grows like twice the size. And then you just sort of stipple on your foundation. Um, it's expensive. This is 20 bucks for just for this. So it's kind of like, ugh. But, um... It's amazing so so much I would highly recommend this to everybody I just think it is a beautiful application 
um, with your foundation. It just looks really fresh and dewy and like your natural skin. You don't feel like it's caked on at all. Um, so this I would highly recommend. My next favorite I also picked up in New York. Um, for New Year's Eve I got my makeup done at this place called Blushington on Sunset in Los Angeles. And they used a bunch of Kevin Aquan products. Um, and I just kind of fell in love with them, but they're really expensive, so I don't have any. But again, I was in New York and, you know, happened to be at a Space and K, which they don't have out here in Los Angeles. So I decided to try one of their products, and I got the Kevin Aquan Celestial... The Kevin Aquan Celestial Bronzing Powder, Bronzing Veil. This is the box. This is what the packaging looks like. You can see all my fingerprints. That's kind of disgusting. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, and it is in the color Tropical Days. And what's so cool about this and why I decided to pick this up is because... I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but it goes from like this really cool shimmer. Ha! There's my camera. Um, it goes from this like really cool shimmer like almost like a highlight down to just a like bronzer like that and it is so cool um, i would never seen anything like this before um, and I really liked the idea of kind of having the highlighter down to the uh, bronzer so I thought I'd give it a go I love it it's beautiful like I said I got my makeup done for New Year's Eve which was really fun and she used a, the girl I did my makeup used a cream eyeliner um, on the top and then on my waterline, but it was brown. And I had never actually used a brown cream liner in my waterline before, which I find really strange. So I went out and got one, and I picked up one from Tarte, and it came with a brush. This is what the packaging looks like. It was $20, $22, which is not bad for a brush and a cream gel. Um, this is what it looks like. It's really dark brown. It kind of looks like poo. Um, but this is fantastic. It's really pigmented. But what I love so much about it is the brush that it came with. So it has two ends. It's got this really cool one right here, which is great um, for smudging. And then it has this end right here, which is really nice for getting a uh, precise line. Okay, so I have a big problem with perfume. I'm kind of obsessed with it, and I have way too many bottles of it. So I bought another one. <laughs> I went into Zara because Zara's having, or I don't know if they still are, but they were like oh, two weeks ago. Um, their Zara Fall and Winter 2012 sale. Which is fantastic. Again, I don't know if it's still on, but if it is, definitely go check it out because literally like 80% of the store is on sale. So it's really great. Um, but anyway, I picked up some stuff and I was at the counter and I was trying on some of their perfumes and I fell in love with one of them so I had to go back and get it. And then I saw that the entire bottle was only $25 and was like, okay, that's got to be mine. So this is it right here. It's kind of cool. I've never had a perfume with the little... Uh, nozzle like this before whatever this is called I don't know what this is called um, but it's really cool I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of got this like really cool like shimmery thing going on which is really pretty um, this is what the packaging looks like um, and it's the Zara woman number 92 Champs-Élysées Paris perfume I just love this so much it smells so good um, I cannot, I'm really actually not too terrible at describing scents, but I can't tell you what this one smells like. I have absolutely no idea. Um, it's definitely more of like a going out in the evening type of perfume. Um, like definitely winter. I don't, I wouldn't wear this probably like in the summer. Um, it's a little bit heavy. It's definitely, I usually go for like lighter scents. It's de this is definitely kind of more of like a muskier scent. Um, a little bit woody. I don't know. I don't know what's in this, but it just smells so good and you should go smell it. I think it's their brand new fragrance and I just am obsessed with it. I'm like gonna get high on perfume fumes. Okay, so those are all my beauty related favorites of the month. Um, I have a couple fashion things to share with you that I love.
Okay, so I was watching Fleur's, I think it was like what she got for Christmas or something like that video. And she got these, she received some slippers as a gift. And I saw them and was like, I have to have those. They're amazing. I live in Los Angeles though, so um, unfortunately, uh, you know, getting products that are from the UK is a little bit difficult. So they didn't have my size in the color of the one, uh, like the ones that Fleur had. Uh, but they did have my size in this magenta color and I was like, okay, I'll try it out even though I thought maybe it'd be like really bright and like not that cute. Uh, but I got them anyway. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. I feel like it's not even doing them justice like how amazing these are. They're like a bright pink, but on camera they're not really coming up like that. Um, they're kind of coming up more of like a oxblood, which is not the color of them at all. They're like a bright magenta. Um, but they are from Ruby and Ed, and they are so comfortable, and they're like the cutest little slippers. They're velvet, and they got bows on them, and they just look like something that like Blair Waldorf would like sleep in or something. So I was in the market for a new black bag that was like an everyday type of bag. Um, but I didn't want to spend like an arm and a leg because I don't have any money right now. Um, and I was looking at Zara and the Zara sale and I saw this bag. And it kind of reminds me of the Alexander Wang, um, I don't know if it's the Rocco, I think that's what it's called. You know, the one with all the studs on the bottom. Um, it's got pretty much like the same sort of finish, but instead of studs on the bottom, it's just got these silver studs right here on the sides, and then um, you can take the, the uh, strap off if you want to, but I don't really mind it. And I just think that this is a really great bag uh, for every day, and I love it. I've been carrying it every day in January, and the best part about this was I think it looks really, really expensive, and I it was only like $49, I think, which is amazing. I think that the Alexander Wayne bag is like $8.75 now. Um, so I think this is a, a steal. I have my last favorite for you guys, and it is probably one of the more over-the-top pieces that I have purchased. Um, I absolutely love it. And I actually, I bought this in January, so that's why I'm putting it in my January favorites, even though I haven't actually worn it yet. I was going to wear it in New York City, but I soon realized that it was 20 degrees outside and snowing, and this was really inappropriate, so I couldn't wear it. But uh, this is definitely one of the most awesome things that I've, I'm like staring at it because I just love it so much. But this is definitely like one of the most amazing things that I purchased this month. And this was sort of my birthday present to myself. Ooh. And it looks like this. Can you see it? Um, it's a little like pink tweedy jacket. This is what the material looks like, if you can see that. Um, it is from Ted Baker. I love this. I'm like obsessed with it. It was really expensive, um, you know, but it's amazing. I love it. And I cannot wait to wear this. I think I'm going to pair it with some like leather shorts. And a really cute like white or black top and then maybe some like fun chunky jewelry or something like that. I love it. I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, so those are my January favorites. I hope you guys liked them. I think maybe in my next video I might do like a haul of what I got in New York, which might be kind of fun. Um, I don't know. Anyways, it's my birthday, so I'm gonna go do birthday things now. See you next time. Oh, okay, so it's like super dark now because I closed all the windows, but I just wanted to say check the down bar um, because I have a blog, I am catgolden.com, where I can kind of go into depth about more of the products and there'll be pictures and you can kind of read my like thorough review of all of the things that I've shown you guys today. Um, and comment, like below, let me know what you guys want to see. Okay, bye.